Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Alan Azmi Kalik from CMR Sick Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgery Center, Istanbul, Turkey. Today, I will have the pleasure to present a case report of complex fistula which originates from all coronary arteries and drains to the pulmonary artery. And I am also going to demonstrate how we found a retrograde solution to tackle this challenging case. Our patient was a 60-year-old female and on her other history, she had an LED standing procedure in 2030. And after two years, she had a surgery for LED to pulmonary artery fistula formation. Unfortunately, in 2017, because of the recurrence of the same fistula, she had a failed anti-grade attempt to close this fistula formation. She came to us with symptoms of exercise-induced angina and dyspnea, and on her medical treatment, she was taking aspirin, metoprolol, and rosuvastatin. Her stress imaging tests revealed moderate ischemia in apex, and echocardiography finding was also similar. CT angiogram clearly demonstrated the complex fistula formation which was originating from left anterior descending and left circuit and the right coronary artery and they were all draining to the pulmonary artery. In the spider view, you can appreciate the giant fistula formation and white arrow in this slide shows the connection a large connection between LED and pulmonary artery, and the black arrow demonstrates the communications between left surg and the pulmonary artery. Our strategy was the closure to close the fistula formation via femoral access and the retrograde approach. And our rationale behind this decision was occluding the distal neck of the fistula why a retrograde approach would seize the whole blood flow coming from all coronary arteries at once. And of course, a history of a failed integrated approach because of the extensive tortuosity of the proximal part of the fistula made us to take this decision. We inserted uh, a six French catheter to the left main coronary artery artery and this allowed us to image the fistula and also to guide the retrograde approach. Also via right femoral venous access, we inserted a 5 French and 45 centimeter sheet over a guide wire and also you can see this guide wire with the green arrow and how we engage it to the, to the distal neck of the fistula. In this slide, you can see the image of the fistula via retrograde placed sheet. With this sheet, we delivered very cautiously the duct occluder and we used the Amplas duct occluder to six by six millimeters. And before releasing it, we did, of course, a tack test. And after waiting around five to 10 minutes, we took a shot and we saw that we totally occluded the fistula formation. To conclude, in the present case, we reported a successfully treated complex fistula formation, which constitutes many connections between all coronary arteries and the pulmonary artery. As we anticipated the pertinence of the device and the structure of the fistula, a duct occluder in suitable size was implanted in a retrograde fashion and the procedure was ended up without any complication and the patient is doing very well on her follow-up. Thank you very much.